I'd like to show you how I've been able to get the Blue Eddy app to operate on my Windows 11 PC. You can see here I have it pinned to the taskbar and if I open up my apps it appears in my app drawer as well. And when running it I can just click on the link. I do need to action uh, an approval on my phone and then the Blue Eddy app loads. I can resize this to whatever I like. It's a resizable window. And we can go open up My Devices and we can go into My AC Max. My AC Max runs a fair portion of my uh, household. Not critical infrastructure, but mostly just the discretionary items like TVs, laptops, PCs, all those sorts of clock radios, all that sort of stuff, stereo. A bit cloudy today, so I'm not generating a huge amount. But as you can see, I've got the app running here now, and uh, it's actually running over a platform known as Windows Link, which is built into a lot of Samsung phones and can be downloaded from the App Store and loaded onto any Android phone. There would, of course, be minimum requirements. You'll have to look those up. If you jump online and look up YouTube, you'll find lots of videos on how to set up Windows Link and how to install the necessary programs. But basically, once you do get um, the Windows Link operating, it allows you to run any of the apps that are on your phone or your tablet, sort of emulate them on your PC. You're not really running them on your PC like you would if you were running an actual Android emulator. It is running on the phone. And that's actually pretty important because one of the issues I've had with getting Android emulators to work with Blue Eddy is that uh, the Bluetooth drivers often aren't supported. But in this case here, we sort of avoid that because we're using the standard Bluetooth connection on the phone and you could do so on a tablet as well if you wish. And, uh, and that then allows you to communicate with the Blue Eddy. And then you can, through Windows Link, you can stream the interface back to your PC. Now the phone screen is not occupied, it's not busy. It has a notification saying that Windows Link is running, uh, but I can still use the phone uh, for all its own standalone purposes. So uh, I work from home and I like to have uh, an indication on how the Blue Eddy's tracking, especially on days like today where it's very intermittent cloud and uh, we're not getting consistent uh, production of energy. This now allows me to have this running on the PC while I'm working from home. Uh, while you do need to have a local sort of approval when you run the app, once the app is running, it's running. So it's feasible that if you wanted to have this information available remotely when you're away from home, you could set up uh, a tablet, get the Windows link running, uh, and then leave it running, and you could remote into it when you're away. So it does work over mobile data, or you could have it running on a PC at home, which you could then remote into if you wish. But uh, Windows Link will work over uh, mobile data as well. So uh, potentially you could even access and load these apps when you're not at home. So if you're wanting to check on how the Blue Eddy is working while you're not at home, uh, this is a potential that you could explore. So yeah, check out Windows Link. Uh, it's definitely uh, worked well for me and uh, is a very simple and straightforward way of, uh, of getting it not running on your PC.